Okay, so this is a quick video on how to find HMO properties on Rightmove. So we have got a five point checklist. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to rightmove.co.uk and we're gonna decide our area. Now, of course, it has to be an area whereby there's a high demand on spareroom.co.uk. So usually you'll already have an area in mind. So in this point, we're gonna do uh, Warsaw, Wolverhampton. And if we go on spare room, if you are looking for an area outside of Warsaw or Wolverhampton, you're gonna type in uh, a city. So we can try Birmingham. Rooms wanted. Search now, and you'll see that there's 572 people looking. There's lots and lots of demand for people looking for rooms. Um, if we put Warsaw in here, it's not quite the same as Birmingham, but the houses are cheaper. But we've still got 69 people looking with lots of new people, which is not too bad. Wolverhampton, new today, new today, new today. We've got people looking in Wolverhampton. Now, this training video is about how to find properties on right move, not about how to find your patch, because there are certain issues. That there are some areas where you can't buy HMOs because of Article 4 and things like that. So we're just gonna work on the basis that we're looking in Wolverhampton. So, Wolverhampton. One second. All right, sorry about that. I just had to tell the guys next door to be quiet. <laughs> okay, so search this area only. Price range, if it's less than 60 grand, it's gonna be absolutely rubbish. It's gonna be run down to an auction. So I'm just gonna do 70 grand up, and we're gonna go up to 110. Number of bedrooms, three. Property type has to be a house. Add it to the size. In this case, I'm gonna do any time. If you're doing this every day, and you're doing it regularly, you could just every day say what's new in the last 24 hours, and it would save you having to fish through everything. But we're just gonna do it any time. Um, include under offer or sold, in this case, no. If I was doing it every day, I probably would, just to see what would what, come up, but no. So, okay, great. We've already got a sold property that's come up, and I didn't want to see the sold properties. So let's uh, change this. To change your fil filter, you're just gonna go here, filter. And uh, add it to site any time. Uh, I can't see where to. The, the layout of right move is it does change, seems to change on a, on a day by day basis. So let's do this again. Wolverhampton, this area only, 70 grand to 110, three bedrooms, houses. Ah, you want to leave this unticked. Right. Here we go. So straight away, I can see that this house is a good house because. It's in good condition by the looks of things. Yeah, it's in good condition. It's got two reception rooms. Let's see how close it is to the center. It doesn't look too far away. It says it's point two miles away from a train station, which is good. But how do we find out if, this, if, if the area is good, if it's close to the center? But what we have to do is we have to get the address. Now again, if it's a really long street, you might need to find out the number. But in this case, Corwick Street is just uh, quite a small street. So it should give us a clearer indication of where it is. So Corwick Street, Wolverhampton. We're gonna go on Google, we're gonna get a map open and directions and let's type in Wolverhampton now this will be smack bang on in the center of Wolverhampton and it says it's 10 minutes 2.1 miles however that's when you're driving but we're not going to be driving we're going to be taking the bus so there's a little bus icon here and if we click that it now says 13 minutes boom that works because it's got to be 13 minutes sorry 15 minutes or less 
from the city centre. So on the bus, you can get there within 15 minutes, so the location works. The condition works. It's got four rooms. Are the four rooms big enough? Well, let's have a look. One, two, three. The smallest room is 10 by 6, 11. Oh, <laughs> that is just shy of 70 squared feet. It needs to be 70 squared feet, and that is just shy. With it being that close, I might be tempted to book it in anyway, but you've got to draw the line somewhere. So let's see, just to show you how this works. Um, there's a really nice little app somewhere. I think it's this one. This one will do. So it's going to be 10 by 6, 11. And that is 69.16. In that, if it's that close, I would probably be tempted to just go ahead and book it. So that house pretty much ticks all the boxes. It's on for 110, which is a little high because we like 25,000 pounds per room. And this is uh, a tiny bit more than that. So what I'd be tempted to do is ring the agent, let's just save the property, and ask them, are they open to offers? It just say offers in region of. So that is how you find a property. We're gonna find one more, just to give you guys a real idea of how this, how this works. So these are all 110. So really, I mean, ideally, we wanna go a tad cheaper. Now this, I can see straight away it's auction, which is no good. So you always wanna just have a quick look at the description before you click into something. Again, this is auction. Unfortunately, there's no way of searching. Not, let's not look at auction properties. I wish there was. So this property here, the condition's good, but it's okay. I always like to look at a floor plan. So you've got your three bedrooms and your two reception rooms, but I can already tell by the floor plan that that bedroom looks tiny. So let's see. Okay. Okay, it's not that tiny, but it is still smaller than the 70 square feet. You've got your two reception rooms, kitchen, three bedrooms, bathroom, and an outbuilding with WC, which is great. But that, that, that one room, unfortunately, is not gonna be big enough. Now, if the property is absolutely amazing, but the only problem is the smallest bedroom, you can move partition walls sometimes. So it might be that you could literally move this wall and put it here and then make that room bigger. It seems like a really big hallway. Um, so sometimes we can still view properties, but you know, you don't wanna waste time and you don't wanna clutch at straws. Let's see if we can see a picture of this hallway upstairs. There isn't a picture of the hallway. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. It doesn't majorly excite me. I mean, yeah, it's decent condition. The kitchen looks pretty small. Um, it's okay, you can possibly make it work, but it's not an absolutely amazing one. So let's see what else we got. Right, Hardy Square. Okay, condition looks okay. Floor plan's a really quick way. To, there we go, I can see straight away this is no good because it's got three bedrooms, the third bedroom is too small, it's only got one reception room. Again, if that reception room was absolutely massive and this room was big, you could put a partition wall and turn it into two, but in this case, it's just not gonna work. Right, this one. Again, this looks very country, so let's have a quick look at the area. It doesn't look like the area is good, it's 2.8 miles from the nearest train station, and I can see straight away this is way too far out of the town for it to work. So that one's not gonna work. All right, that one's not gonna work. You see, this is a, I know it can be very time consuming, especially when you're looking at loads. But what you'll find is, if you do this every day, it will probably only take you like maybe 10, 20 minutes to do an area. So, it's, it, it's not that bad. Right, this one, it's annoying it's not got any pictures. It's got two reception rooms. 
Uh, it looks like it's in a good location. It's not too far, but I can, because it's on off a main road, it's always good. If it was like here, it would be no good, but because it's off a main road, that is not bad. Let's do a route planner and see how far away it is. So it's Douglas Place. So all you're going to do is you're going to type in Douglas Place. Wolverhampton. From Wolverhampton, okay, it's 16 minutes. So it's it kind of just over. Um, now, if it, if, if it was absolutely perfect, four bedrooms, 100 grand, really big, and it was 16 minutes, you might be able to let that pass because it's only a minute over. But when you start being too um, compromising on everything, that's when you can suddenly start ending up with bad properties. So with this one, the area is kind of just about potentially okay. There's practically no description on the condition or on the sizes. Let's see if there's a brochure. Sometimes there can be more details if you click on the brochure. Um, there's very little. So in this case, I'd ring up the agent and I'd just say, what's the condition like? What's the crack? What are the room, what are the room measurements? Uh, and things like that. But we can't really be excited about that with so little details. Let's have a look at this one. Caledonia Road. I bought one in Caledonia Road. All uh, right, before. Condition looks great. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. But what else? You've got a dining room. You've got a modern and a lounge and a kitchen diner. Brilliant. Let's see the room measurements. I always rush to just see the third room. The third room's big. Brilliant. One, two, three big rooms. Kitchen diner. That could, this could be a five bed because you could potentially do the kitchen diner as your communal area, and then turn these both into a bedroom. Um, I know the area is good, but let's just click on it and I'll be able to show you. So again, you can see that it's really close to the center. I can tell without doing a planner that this one's gonna be okay. But if you wanted to do a planner, now Caledonia Road, how big is it? Okay, it's, it, it's not too big, it's quite small. Remember, if it's a really big road, you're gonna to need to find the door number and do an exact route planner. But in this case, because Caledonia Road is not big. You can see I've already found there two or three good properties just in the last sort of 10 minutes. So, okay, it's 11 minutes on the bus to the center and you can walk it in 23 minutes. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. So the, the, the location is brilliant, the condition is brilliant, the price is brilliant and You've got three bedrooms and two reception rooms, so that is one that we need to get into absolutely ASAP. So, as you can see, in the last sort of um, you know ten minutes or so, I found two or three good properties, and that is what we're wanting to do. So, every day, little and often, that's how you find properties. So, to just do a kind of recap and go over the five boxes: location, it needs to be fifteen minutes from within the centre. Usually that's within one and a half miles away. There needs to be four lettable rooms minimum and they need to be at least 70 square feet. The maximum asking price needs to be 105. I mean, if, if you're sort of looking at properties that run for 115, 120, it's just, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna fly. Um, and also, yeah, lastly, no auction properties, no 50% shares, no cash offers only. Just read the description and just check that there's no catches, there's no problems before um, saving it. And, uh, and that is how you find HMOs online.